but anyhow let me do this lab in the gns3 in this one what we are going to do we are going to do the dr bdr lab we will test here how the guy is going to become as a dr how the guy is going to become as a bdr so let me write here dr dr and bdr lab so now what i will do let me take the dummy switch also we need one switch so i will take the ethernet switch this is a dummy switch and after that i will take the router so this is a r1 this is r2 we can take a two router also or three four whatever you need let's take the four as i put in our notes so we will take the four router and we will do this lab dr and bdr i will connect this with this uh, fast ethernet 0 by 0 to ethernet here also fast ethernet 0 by 0 to ethernet 1 fast ethernet 0 by 0 any interface we can connect i am connecting the same interface so we can copy paste the configuration easily and if you want to change this image we can change also go here in the change symbol and select the image which we need it will take some time now i will take the red we have here red we have here so square red and here i can write the blue so this is a switch image okay so now ip schema we can give and i can bring the ports whatever ports we are using here and this is the fast ethernet 0 by 0 this is also fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will power on all the device i will take the ip schema here i will take for this interface 192.168.1.1 and the other interface we will take that here 2.1 to 192 1.2 .2, and then other will be 1.3 and 1.4 this is ip schema we can use 1.3 and let me make this here and 1.4 here also and this is the name here switch so let's do the configuration i will take the cli of the routers r1 r2 r3 r4 so this all cli of all router is here just i will press enter and keep ready for configuration copy paste and we will uh, take the notepad to do the configuration i will take the notepad and we will do the configuration this is simple only just we need to enable the ospf we can use the what we can say interface method so dr and bdr bdr lab so let me do the r1 configuration first of all r1 configuration enable config t host name r1 and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 this is a 0 by 0 and then after that i will write ip address whatever ip we wrote 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.0 we write no shut here this is the r1 and then if you want to write the router ospf1 and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then i will write ip ospf process id1 ip ospf 1 area 0 interface we go under the interface then ip ospf 1 area 0 so what i am doing i am enabling the ospf by using the interface method so this is a r1 configuration now we need to do the similar configuration for r2 so i will copy this whole thing and we will paste here okay we will paste here and we will modify as per our requirement so this should be two here should be two and where is the r2 this is a r2 here we give the let me put this ip here so the number will match like this is a r2 so this ip should be here this our wish we can give anything but i am giving this way so let me take the notepad and here we will modify so this one is 192 1.2 and this will remain same because we are using the same interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 for all the router so this ospf configuration remains same 
okay ospf configuration remains same we are saying router ospf1 interface this one after that ip ospf1 area 0 so this is finished this is the r1 r2 configuration now i need to do the r3 configuration so i will copy this whole thing and we will go here and i will paste here and i will write here 2 or 3 this is a 3 third router so this is also third router after that this one ip will be 192.168.1.3 so i will make this as a 1.3 ospf configuration will remain same router ospf1 interface 0 by 0 ip ospf1 area 0 that's all after that we will divide this notepad and then we will write here i will copy this whole thing and paste here to do the r4 configuration and this is a r4 here i will write r4 and this is 4 and here also 4 and uh, here is 4 and remaining thing remains same because we are using the same interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 0 by 0 0 by 0 so the ospf configuration remains same so this is a ospf configuration now we can paste this one so first i will log in to the cli of the r1 let me copy this r1 configuration and we will paste here so we paste here everything work perfectly no error nothing and now i will copy for r2 and i will paste this in the r2 also so i, I paste it in the r2 also here also good no issue and then i will copy for r3 and then i will log in to the r3 also and i will paste to r3 also here r2 also finish r3 also finish now we need to paste in the r4 so i will take this in the r4 and now let me paste in the r4 so r4 also finish now we can check here show ip uh, root first of all do we have the root still we don't have root or let me write show ip ospf neighbor so now uh, how many neighbor i have i am here in the r1 so my neighbor is r2 r3 r4 so three guys are the neighbor if you see this is a 192.168.1.2 1.3 1.4 this is a neighbor id that is a router id and this is the ip whatever ip we assign so the ip become the router id also because we did not give manually so they taken that one and if you see here they are in the two way if you remember we have seven state we have uh, dawn init two way x start exchange and loading to full so they are in that state and if you see this router become dr other dr other and this guy 1.4 become 1.4 this is a router id 1.4 become dr so this guy become dr okay let me check now again show ip ospf neighbor so now what we can see here here we can say that i am inside the r1 and i am checking so i can see 192.168.1.4 this is a router id and this is ip address of that uh, router interface and this guy become as a dr and 192.168.1.3 this guy become as a bdr and the other guy become dr other so if you remember we told whenever we configure the ospf whoever is present in that uh, present that time that guy is going to participate in that one and if all are having the same priority then they are going to look the router id whoever is having the highest router id that guy is going to become as a dr and less than that one that guy is going to become as a bdr after that other guy will become as a dr other so if you want to check the r1 also you can log into the any other router and you can check example if i want to check what is the status of r1 so what is the ip of r1 192.168.1.1 so i need to check the status of r1 so i can log into any other router r2 and i can check here okay i can check here so let me check here what we are getting here if you see i have here 192.168.1.1 this is a ip of the router and this is id network uh, that is neighbor id or router id so if you see this is the this router this router is that one here is also we have ip and this guy become dr other why dr other because his priority all guys is having same priority and this is a lowest router id this guy is having high router id after that this guy is having the high router id that's why this guy become as a dr and this guy become as a bdr imagine your manager told this is a old router 1.4 this is a old router he should not become dr and bdr so what we will do we will log into this interface 
and we will put the priority as a zero. When we will put the priority as a zero, then this guy will not participate in the election uh, even if he even if he is having the high priority. Sorry, what we can say even if he is having the high router ID, he will not become DR and BDR. So let's do that one. Imagine your manager told R4 is your, the very old router. It is present in the warehouse. Recently we bring, but we don't want to make this router as a DR and BDR. So what I will do, I will log into the R4 and then I will go to the global configuration. After that, I will go under the interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. After that, I will write IP OSPF priority IP OSPF priority put 0. So this guy will not participate any election and we need to clear. We need to clear. If you did not clear, it will not change. It will not change effect. Example, if I write here again, show IP OSPF neighbor. It will not change effect. You need to clear the IPOSPF process. I did not clear here, but automatically they clear themselves. But in the real scenario, we need to clear. We need to reset. If we did not reset, it will not take effect. Okay. But here without resetting, if you see here, the changes occur. Sometime in the simulation, we have this uh, issue. But now in the real scenario, you need to reset the OSPF. Okay. So if you see here, we set the priority as this one. So this guy before this guy as a DR, but now this guy is not involving in the DR BDR election. Only router three is involving. And if we check all the router, one router is having the router ID 192.168.1.1. Another router is having 1.2. Another router is having 1.3, 1.4. 1.4 guy should become the DR, but we set the priority as a zero. So this guy will not become as a DR or BDR. After that, we have this is a highest router ID. So this guy is going to become as a DR. After that, this is the highest router ID. So this guy is become as a backup designated router. And whatever remaining, they will become as a DR other. Whatever the remaining router is available, that will become as a DR other. Okay, so if you see here, uh, this one become as a DR 1.3 if you see this is a router ID and if you see this is a D BDR this guy is a backup designated router now imagine or if you check the first one let me show you here in the R2 if we check here inside the R2 this guy the router R1 this is the router R1 how I know by seeing the IP this is IP for the R1 and this is a router ID. If you are confused, you can check router ID also. How we can check the router ID? You can write show, log into the router, which router ID you want to check, then write show IP protocol and press enter. Okay, Pla press enter, you can see the router ID. This is a router ID. We did not assign manu manually, automatically router taken the router ID. What is the router ID? If you remember, we told they will check the loopback interface, logical interface. If you have more than one, they will check which one is having the high IP. If you don't have loopback, if you have only one loopback, they will take that IP only. If you don't have loopback, then they will check the physical active interface. If you have only one interface that is physical and active, then they will take that IP as a router ID. So that's why this guy taken R1 taken router ID as a this one 192.168.1.1. This is the interface IP. Okay. So now imagine your manager told R1 is a latest router. R1 is a ASR 9000 latest model 9000 series. This is the latest model. Recently we buy also for our organization in our organization. We buy this one also. So imagine your manager told we have the new router ASR 9000 or any any model your manager told we have the new router this R1 is a very advanced router make this one as a DR. So what we will do we need to log into this uh, interface and we need to change the priority as a 200 or any number here whatever the priority example you have here priority as a 200 example. So you need to make the priority higher than this one. How many router, whatever router you are having in your organization, whatever priority that router is having higher than that router priority, you need to give to R1. So R1 will become as a DR. So how we will do? We will log into the R1. Okay. And then we will go in the global configuration mode. Then we will go interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. Why interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0? Because here is a 
interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 after that we will write ip ospf priority and whatever priority you want to give if you don't know press question mark you can give the priority from 0 to 255 if you see you can give the priority from the 0 to 255 so your wish in your organization if anyone is using 200 that is the highest priority then you can give 201 or if no one is using you can give normal to also whatever priority we have in our network this router r1 should have the higher than that one so anyhow we don't have uh, all guys are having the one only but anyhow i will give priority as a 200 so when i give the priority as a 200 this guy should become as a dr but we need to do clear ip ospf process then only the effect will take place okay we need to reset the ospf so let's see here just now they automatically they reset right but now they did not reset show ip root or here here show ip ospf neighbor yeah automatically they reset nothing if you see here still dr other okay this should become as a dr so still changes not affect so we need to go reset the ospf i will write clear ip ospf process yes so they will reset here <laughs> they will reset and after that we can check that one so i can write here show ip ospf neighbor if you see here this guy still uh, become the bdr backup designated router so let me reset here also clear ip ospf process and uh, the other router also here also clear clear ip ospf process yes and in the four already we have that one so no need for four but anyhow if you need generally we are giving this command to all the router clear ip ospf process yes so they will reset the ospf after that we can check it will uh, the r1 will become as a dr still not we increase the priority all the guys is having low priority this guy is having the high priority so this guy should become as a dr maybe some issue in the this router image that's why this guy not become dr let me write clear ip ospf process already we wrote this process and yes reset so why this guy not become in the real scenario whatever guy is having high priority that guy is going to become as a dr so this guy should become because here if you see priority one this is priority zero this is only the high so this guy should become as a dr let's see maybe which guy two router two let me check what is a router two status maybe router two become show ip show ip ospf neighbor router two become as a dr even if he is having the low priority i don't know why let me reset here also ospf clear ip ospf process sometime we will have issue in the simulation when we close and open it will be okay but anyhow let's see why this guy is become as a still the same thing uh, the this guy become as a dr something wrong maybe with this image in the gns3 still r3 is a dr let me check in r4 show ip ospf process let me write show ip ospf neighbor even if i increase the priority but this guy is still bdr something wrong let me save the configuration in all the router then we will close and open i think some issue with the gns here in the real scenario we will not have this issue this is a simulation issue i think okay i save the configuration let me close and open the router let me close 
and open the router ok sorry stop 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 I will power on let me power on power on power on this one and let me go here in the CLI of R1 and in the CLI of R2 and the CLI of R3 and in the CLI of R4 let's see if you do this lab in the packet tracer it will be very easy but anyhow uh, the uh, let's see here show IP OSPF neighbor still they are in the two way R2 is still hang R3 also still hang R4 it came now let's see now it corrected or not R2 is having some issue let me write show show IP OSPF neighbor yeah now it is correct if you see 192.168.1.1 1 become as a DR because we increase the priority this should be when we are doing from the starting this should work but I don't know some issue with this okay now if you see here this is the correct way if you see we have the priority first router is having the 200 priority that's why this guy become as a DR after that this all router is having same priority so they will check the router ID when they check this is a lowest router ID this one is the highest router ID so this guy will become as a BDR that's why router 3 become as a BDR so what we can say router 1 is a DR this guy become as a DR and this guy become as a BDR and this guy is not having priority we set the 0 so he is not going to participate in any election so this way we can play and we can change the priority depending upon our requirement whatever we have our requirement we can play with this one ok so what we can say this is a DR and BDR lab we uh, we can modify different thing we can change here or there just I want to explain the concept so with this you have the good concept later you can play with this one you can change the priority you can change the router ID you can reset and you can check that one ok so let me stop this